Welcome to the Low Car Car Show. I'm Sam Adavi, coming to you from Greenville, Pennsylvania with more from the Heritage Day Super Cruise. Welcome to the Low Car Car Show. This is gonna be one awesome car. And I said, it doesn't even run yet. <laughs> and look at it now, it's amazing. With so many cars coming out this year, we just had to come back and show you more of the Heritage Day Super Cruise. This event would not happen without our show sponsors. They make it possible for everyone to come out once a year and display their passion and tell their stories. So stay tuned as we show you more of the cool cars and trucks from Greenville, PA. I was walking by and noticed Dean's beautiful semi truck Absolutely. and how gorgeous it is with all the paint brushing. And then I saw the tag where he's actually entered the show, so we had to cover him. Tell me about your truck, Dean. It's beautiful. Well, it's an old 85 that was completely redone, frame up, custom paint. Me and my wife spent about six hours on it and then it rained. Oh, man. <laughs> how long has it been looking like this? How long has the restoration been done? I bet 10 years ten anyway. Years. Man, that is incredible work for it to be 10 years old. You have a cover over the fifth wheel over there? Yeah, just for days like today, so it looks pretty, you know. You don't want all that grease on it. <laughs> no, you don't, man. <laughs> Every inch of this thing is the same color and has been completely custom airbrushed. Yep. I love the covers over the wheels. You got flamethrowers on the pipes. You can blow fire 15 feet in the air. Now, what are you using as your fuel? Uh, propane, propane tank up underneath. Yeah, you can see the propane injection right there, and yep. then the spark plug that ignites it at the very top. Yep. I can imagine seeing this thing blow on stacks like that 20 feet high with oh, cool. flames coming out of it. <laughs> well, does it look as good as it does outside as inside? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Well, it's, it's got showing some age, like, just like me, you know. <laughs> but you use it. That's the beauty of it, yeah. man. You guys keep it in very good shape. Yes, sir. Thank you for bringing it out. I hope you win a prize. Thanks, <laughs> me <Steve>. too. <laughs> Tim, walking by, notice the paint job on your charger. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank How you. long has that paint job been on the charger? Since 2004. 2004? Right. 18 years? Yes. So you restored it bumper to bumper? Yes, you actually got it finished in 2012. And you've been showing it ever since, or do you, yes. do you garage do we, keep it? I can no, tell from we, one of we the drive, you drive this We thing. drive this car, yes, we do. So tell me about it. What's Is it all original? All the panels are original. We had the uh, handles taken off of yep, it, very use nice. uh, key fob, and we got button for the uh, door. Yep. Uh, got the black shade, accents. Shade the antenna. Yeah, we uh, we powder coated all the, the bumpers, the, the, all the trim was all powder coated. And I can see that the dash gauge bezel is original to the car and yes. still old, unrestored. You got a fast fuel injection on the original motor? Yes, I do. Now, when you took the motor out, did you hop it up, do anything to it? Yes, we bored it, changed the heads, 260 cam in it. So what was the theme of the paint job? And my son decided he would like to do on the car and he drew it up and I had a paint shop painted on the car for you me. You drew it up, huh? Yes. Thank you so much, Tim, for bringing it out and having us check it out. All right. Show everybody your charger. All right, thank you. Very nice. Uh -huh. We have to go to a quick break. We'll be right back with more of the Low Car Car Show.
It's time for the Low Car Lowdown with Kevin Ford. Since 1988, Low Car's been making quality products in the United States. We have a passion for this, and over the years, we've acquired other companies that had that same passion. Well, recently, we had the opportunity to purchase Made For You products. Now, this is an iconic name in the street rod and racing industry. We make tools, we make wire loom clamps, we make uh, wire separators, we make wire loom. Sandy Denton that owned Made For You for many years had the same passion and commitment to making parts in the United States as Low Car did. So it was a perfect match when she decided to retire and pass the torch our way. We couldn't be more excited than we are to own this company and continue the tradition. So go online to www.madeforyou.com and see what we have to offer. We've got a variety of colors and parts that'll fit your needs and we're proud to be Made For You by Low Car. Welcome back to more of the Heritage Day Super Cruise. All right, Sydney, I was noticing the badge that said Demon on the side of this car. I did not know they had a Demon back in the day. And so we have Demons today. Can you tell me about this? Sure, yes. The Demon back in 71, it was the first year for the Demon. They took the front end of the Dodge Dart, the back end off of Plymouth Thruster, and put them together. They only had it two years. In 71, it has the rally dash, the inset side markers, and some of the other one-year only stuff. In 72, they went to the lower horsepower engine, did away with the rally dash, and there were religious groups that protested about the Dodge Demon or the Demon with the pitchfork. They thought uh, you were evoking evil, the devil. Dodge stopped making the Demon and it went to the Dodge Sport for the years. Beautiful car, what about Thank the color? You. How rare is the color? The color is very rare. It is a high impact color. For this year, this platform, it's about 7% of them were made with the, it's code FC7. That is the original color of this car. This is a numbers matching car. Wow. It was born with the wing. It was born with the hood treatment. How many total did they make? Just a little over 10,000. I wow. think it's 10,035. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> it out and having much. us enjoy Thank it. Great you. story. Thank you. Bill, walking by your ambulance, it's the 67. Now, your family, both sides, were military since World War I. Yes. This is my dad, mm -hmm. World War I, for Crawford County, draw the name out of the half for draft. He went a 319 field artillery in Germany and France. I went and I went to Fort Jackson and said, sign here, you can go airborne. So $55 more a month, I signed, I ended up in Fort Campbell for my time. My mother's side, it's my grandmother, two brothers. World War One. My three sons, that's him. And he in Korea, Colorado, and Germany, and this one got a hardship. This one never in service, but his two sons. This one graduated from Meadville High School, joined the Air Force, went to Japan. He graduated from Meadville High School, went Air Force, went to Japan. The other brother just graduated. He down in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. He in the Army. When he get home and leave, all gets hit picture. And you're part of the MVPA, which is the Military Vehicle Preservation Association. Right. And, and their first convoy that they have across the country was in 1919. Yeah, out of Washington, D.C. Yep. with President Eisenhower. And they had a 100-year anniversary in 2019. Right there. Yep. And all these cars went from PA to California. York, PA to California. Well, let me tell you, this was a very, very special story. We'll be right back with more of the Low Car Car Show, brought to you by Appalachian Backroads. Welcome back to the Heritage Day Super Cruise.
Jay, beautiful car. Thank this you. This Pontiac, what year is it? It's a 1969 Firebird. 1969, very nice. Yep. I'm doing a GTO right now, and the engine's color is the same as that color. Yep. Is that Pontiac, like a Pontiac, Pontiac deal? Blue, yep. Okay. Yep. Tell me about the engine. How much horsepower you got? It calculates out to about 500. Um, really? Yeah, I just bought the motor last year off of my neighbor, actually. Yeah? And the plan was just freshen it up a little bit, but then things got away from me, and I went, oh, whole hog. It's about 500. It's got aluminum heads, uh, roller rocker cam, all the goodies. Yeah, that's very nice. 500 horsepower is extremely healthy. When was it restored? The paperwork I have on it is 2003. Very yeah. nice care. It's a driver, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You enjoy this. Oh, yeah. The interior is so nice. The interior has been restored in 2003 oh, yeah, yeah. as well. It's all new, yep. This is absolutely beautiful. How long have you owned it? Three years. Three years. You come to the Super Cruise every year? Oh, yeah, yep. I had a uh, convertible like this when mm -hmm. I was a kid. So now, later in life, I'm reliving my youth. <laughs> yeah, that's, I know exactly what you mean. It's so funny, because I'm trying to relive mine. Have you ever been to the Pontiac and Pigeon Forge? No, I haven't. One year, you have to go. Yeah, I should. That's a very nice show, and they would have really enjoyed this car down there. Yeah. I love the plaque in the back. My friend made that for me back in 1980, when I had really? my other Firebird. What? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, Jay. Thank you so much for bringing this out no, and helping out with the show. Yeah, Really sure. appreciate it. Tony, I saw your crew roll up with all the Volkswagens, but yeah. then I saw this little mini Volkswagen. I said to myself, what is that? I saw its <laughs> right-hand drive, so I got to hear about it. Okay, so this is a 94 Subaru Sandbar, and obviously it's right-hand drive. It's imported. It has a VW conversion. Didn't really mean much for these because they already looked like this, mm -hmm. but the paint used to come straight across. Right. So now it's painted like this. Of course, slap the VW on it. Uh, everything is original to everything Subaru. Everything is Subaru, yep. Everything's original to Subaru. The lids, I'm not sure if they are or not. This design is all Subaru. If you imagine the paint coming straight across, it kind of takes away this look. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as soon as you paint that part white, it really gives you the Volkswagen When well, you look at glass on the roof. Yeah, this like, one pops up and yeah. then that one actually slides back. Looks like a little mini Volkswagen, perfect. Yeah. And the conversion is just the front end with the emblems and the paint. Yep. The rest of it is identical. That's it. So what do you guys do out here in Greenville? We, yeah, we own a Defricious Coast to Coast Auto Sales, and uh, we try to have anything cool, custom, old, anything. Yeah. Uh, we don't do many now, current cars. Most of the time, anything neat or cool, you know, people can come to us. We do vehicle locating, shipping, everything. We help everybody with that. So. Man, that's awesome. Looks like you guys have a good crew going and a good lineup of cars. Yeah, Thank you so much. Big family. We'll be right back with more of the Low Car Car Show. I'm here with Bill Sumners, and he is the promoter of the annual Heritage Day Super Cruise here in Greenville, Pennsylvania. This is incredible, 14th oh. year. Yeah, Sam, we knocked that out of the park today. I mean, it was impossible to even count them. They were coming in here like a wave. We had some of the most awesome cars we've ever had here. I have no idea what some of these things are actually worth. I mean, we had a Ken Diggett car here. Yeah. My friend Kurt Rote, who has this uh, unbelievable 65 Corvette here. You name it. The people that bring these cars out are so yeah. special. Oh, yeah. You know, I have such a good time yeah. talking to them, hearing the stories behind each and every ride yeah. that's here. Huh. It's really something special. Oh, yeah. I've got two guys show up from Atlanta, Georgia today. Right. I had another guy from North Carolina, and he was sending pictures to his friends in North Carolina, and they said, how come you didn't invite us? And he said, I did invite you. And he said, well, we're coming next year. You know, <laughs> So these guys are probably going to be here next year. You know, so To watch Greenville come to life the way it does. Oh, yeah. It's incredible yeah. what happens to the street. Yeah, I mean, there's been people all day. I mean, they started coming down here early in the morning, and we get some very high-quality vehicles here. Not know. only high-quality, but diverse. You've oh, got it from divided. Volkswagens to exotics to classics to modern, yeah. everything in between. It's incredible. Yep. I just saw, I think it was a Volkswagen van pulled in here, <laughs> yeah. and it was hot rodded, but it was a handicapped vehicle. It literally, it literally had a ramp in it, a wheelchair ramp, for a young gentleman to come out of there, and they put him out of there, and he's, he's enjoying the show now. You well, know, that's so. awesome. Here. Oh, absolutely. We'll just see what we can pull off next year.
Vince, I noticed you pulling in with this guy, hitting a big lick. And I've never seen one so complete like yours is. Yes. With the yeah. whole rear end. This is a nice trike. Now, tell Thank me about you. it. Thank you. Well, honestly, I just purchased it over the wintertime. It come from out, outside of LA, and I took it to the Boss Hoss dealership in Somerset. They went all over it, tore it apart, made sure it was ready to go for me. I'd just get on and ride now. Did it need to go be gone through? Uh, you know, just, just it's, it's, it only has like 5,500 miles, so it didn't, didn't get used very often, so I just felt better. They put an error out on the rear. They put the uh, larger brake kit. So what kind of rear ends in it? It is a nine inch Ford. What uh, transmission is behind it? That's a three speed 400. You've got the rear end. It's, it's a Sierra truck. They make the 57 Chevy rear end, the uh, 32 Ford Cooper rear end, and then they do the, this, the Sierra. Plenty of room. Oh, wow. Man, what a, how cool is this? How fast have you been taking it? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, probably like 80 or 90, 90 up at last week. Pretty steady when you go that yeah, fast? Yeah, it was smooth, yeah, it was smooth. But it, it, like, it likes a gas, so yeah, it, it yeah. drinks a little bit. Yeah, that's crazy. It, it, it probably, I got last week, it probably got like 12 miles a gallon, but. That's hey, incredible you know, considering the small package that it's got, you know? I had the privilege of interviewing Jack Buck and his special car that he built with his own hands called the El Poncho. This is a very special car and so was Jack because this is only one of two in the country. Pontiac made a prototype of this and Jack made one of two. Jack is no longer with us but El Poncho lives through Becky. So you guys look for this car to be for sale real soon. That's what Greenville, Pennsylvania is all about. The special people that bring these special cars out at the Heritage Day Super Cruise for everyone to enjoy. Once a year, this town absolutely livens up with all these cars behind us and all the people. You definitely want to put this show on your list of shows to check out next year. For me, that's a wrap. Could be better than my brother Sam here. Well, yeah. thank you so much for bringing this out. Thank, thank you. you so much for bringing it out. Hey, thank you, Sam. Really, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. And thank the entire family. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> it out and having much. us enjoy thank it. Thank you. Great story. Thank you, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for thank being you. out here today. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your thank time. You for thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you. Tucked in the Appalachian Mountains of Southwest Virginia is a specialty shop bringing classic nomads back to life. Rusty is a nomad aficionado and takes the vehicles through an intricate process to make them just as perfect as the day they were built.